What's up, what's up? Hey, check this out. Thank you so much, man. Well, just real quick. I mean, I did that um, chicken, the, the Kane's chicken fingers the other day, man. Strips for my daughter, man. And I mean, people, man, I must have got like 20, 25 messages. Few people even made it, said how good it was. They'll never go to Kane's again and stuff like that. But other people was hitting me up about different other restaurants and how they make certain things. And hey, look, baby. Listen, you ain't fit to, you ain't get ready to get me in trouble. By no means am I saying I know any of these people's recipes. I don't know no none of these people's recipes. Nobody told me anything. This is me just assuming from my experience of cooking on how they make it. You know what I mean? So, hey, I don't know how none of these people make their stuff now. This is just me assuming, you know. But they were saying the chicken came out fire. I know it's simple, too easy to make, stuff like that. But they said it came out really, really good and it's really pleased, man. So I'm excited about that. But other people hit me up about different, you know, how, do I, how do you think so-and-so makes this? And how do you think so-and-so makes that? Man, I don't know. Should I figure it out together? I don't know. But did someone hit me up about um Captain D's, man. I said, Captain, hey, man, that's not Captain. I ain't been at Captain D's like in 1993, 94. I was in Fort Hood, Texas. I was in clean Texas. And they had a Captain D's, man. And I was like, man, Captain D's. I was like, man, I should tear Captain D's up. One thing I can say about this whole social media world we live in now, man, it, 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 keeps you, it keeps people connected. It brings back so many memories, man. So people from my past hit me, hey, remember this, remember that? I like, man, this brings back so many memories. That's what I'm so thankful for about social media, man. And I'm just like, wow, Captain D's, man. Out there, clean Texas, man. Anyway, she asked me, this lady asked me how, you know, she said she was stationed out there, her and her husband, and they used to always love Captain D's, and they were like, um, how, is the, they, how do I think they made the batter? Man, I don't know their recipes, but this is what I'm assuming, all right? And I know they use a, they use a flakier fish. I'm here in New Orleans, so I'm going to use drum. I'm going to use drum. But you can use whatever type of fish you want. But if you're trying to get like Cap D's, they use like a flaky lake, like, 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 like cod or something like that, all right? But look, now the batter, I'm assuming, I'm thinking, from my experience from cooking, look, I know, okay, let's figure this out. Okay, boom. I know they use, I, I don't know what they use, but I know... I would say flour. I would say some cornstarch. I would say flour and corn and, and cornstarch. Um, let's see. Let's start seasoning a little salt and pepper. A little salt and pepper. Oh, a little bit got away, you know. Some garlic powder. And man, play with you. Like I said, I don't give measurements. You play with it. It's yours, man. You do what you want, man. Throw the whole bucket in. I don't care. That's, that's your business, man. Uh, some onion powder. Smoked paprika, I like that smoky flavor. That, boom, now, I think, now this is the key, check it, check it out, people, check it out. Now, use baking powder, it's like a lemon agent. It, this is what makes it, this makes it lighter, and which makes it a lot, the, the, it a lot more crispy, all right? Some kind of chemical stuff that's going on and all that other stuff, I don't know nothing about. But that, that's what's going on, it's just a lemon agent, and it makes your batter a lot more lighter, crispier, you know, okay? So when you fry it, you'll see what I mean. So I would say, I added about, I would say a cup of flour, maybe half a cup of cornstarch. So I'll do about a tablespoon of baking powder, right? This is our lemon ages, all right? Oh, cool, cool. Now we're gonna Now I'm gonna do silly. All right, look. Then we're gonna add some water. And this is gonna be our batter, baby. This is gonna be our batter. Oh yeah. Nice, nice. It's kind of like a little, maybe just a little thinner than like a little pancake batter. Maybe it's more like a little waffle batter, I would say. Cool. Yeah, then you mix that around. I got my grease over here at 350, 350. All right, we're gonna go over here and fry it in a second. 350, you use the fish that you want. I'm gonna take my, my drum, drop it in my batter. I should have had a pinch of cayenne. I, I, nah, I'm, 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 I'm here now. We're gonna put it in, let this sit for a second. All right, got it in my batter, now we're gonna fry it, right? So, hey, we're we'll gonna fry it. I'm gonna show y'all we're gonna fry it, we're gonna bring this bad boy together.
All right, let's check it out. I'm digging it. 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 I can get away with that, people. I can get away with this. I can get away with this. All right. There we go. Now, don't look bad, huh? You know, whatever dipping sauce you want to use, that's your business. But hey, it's that batter, man. <laughs> it's too easy, man. It's too easy. Man, this stuff is so fun. Man, not bad. Not bad. Too easy. Too easy. You know, I got to pat myself on the back on this one. All right, I'm out. I got to go.